So as you can see on the menu, each indication has two different ways of delivering laser therapy energy. When we look at the menu and we see a 1P or 2P, the P is going to indicate that that treatment is going to be delivered point to point. The S is going to indicate that that treatment is going to be delivered via the scanning methodology. Both of these methodologies are outlined in the MLS user's guide. But as we begin to treat the patient, again, I'm going to go down and just pick an indication. In this case, it's going to be joint arthritis. It's going to default the time to three minutes. So since I'm delivering the laser energy, in this case, in the point to point, it's important to keep in mind that the default treatment size is the size of a business card or 50 centimeters squared. So as I look at this particular patient in the area that I'm going to treat, on the point to point, I'm going to be delivering the energy using six particular treatment areas. So the probe will not be moved around uh, or across the patient. So when I deliver that, uh, I would take the treatment time of three minutes and divide by six. So I'll be at 30 seconds for each particular point. So when I begin the treatment, I'll be here for 30 seconds, here for 30 seconds, here for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna come down 30, 30, and then the remaining 30. If I were to use this particular treatment and be in the scanning mode, which I can go ahead and change, I'm now gonna get a longer treatment time but I'm going to deliver the energy by moving the probe across that particular treatment area. So again, keeping in mind that the default treatment size is 50 centimeters squared or the size of a business card, I will go ahead and deliver that energy just by moving the probe over that particular area. I'm going to move my hand relatively slowly and then once I get to the end of the imaginary business card, I'm going to begin to come back across. And I will deliver the energy going both up and down and vertical over that imaginary business card. So again, as we deliver a real treatment, we're at point to point. I'm now going to start the treatment here for this particular animal. It's going to give me three indications. It's going to beep audibly. We're also going to see a red light on the top. That means the laser is ready to fire. I'm going to go ahead and then use the handle here. This I can start the laser energy and I can also stop it. So you do not need to hold the button down while you're delivering the treatment. So as I begin to do the treatment, I'm going to start it and since in this case I'm doing point to point, I will not be moving the probe. I'm going to hold it on this particular area for 30 seconds. I'm going to keep my eye on the timer. At the end of 30 seconds, I will just be moving it to the second location. Again, we're now approaching the end of a minute of treatment time, so now I'm going to move to the third area. Point to point and scanning can be used interchangeably. Point to point is going to be a little more effective when you want deep seated pathologies or you want a little greater penetration. In terms of the actual treatment protocols, as you can see from the menu, each indication is listed for both point-to-point -point as well as scanning. The determination between point-to-point -point and scanning is going to be made by the user. What we found is the first treatment is always going to be most effective on point-to-point -point because that's going to penetrate a little deeper. And then, depending on the condition and where the pathology is located, uh, we do recommend that then you would alternate point-to-point -point and scanning. If it is a deep-seated pathology that you're looking to uh, address or manage the inflammation on, then we would recommend continuing to use the point-to-point -point since that's going to penetrate a little deeper as opposed to alternating between the scanning. In terms of detailed information on how to deliver laser energy, as well as indications, contraindications, uh, you will be provided with the MLS user's guide. And that is a comprehensive guide outlining the number of joules that should be delivered per centimeter squared for each indication. It also highlights the contraindications and really tricks of the trade to help you maximize your effectiveness when you're delivering laser energy. So the tutorial that you're viewing is designed to get users of this technology up and running uh, as soon as the technology arrives. Uh, we also have the MLS user's guide which provides 
detailed information on everything that we're reviewing here uh, via the, the DVD. In addition, we have users groups conference calls and those are ideal for individual practitioners, both technicians and veterinarians, to share ideas and share protocols as to what's been effective within their particular practice. So between those components of the educational program, uh, we found new users to be able to integrate this technology very successfully, very quickly, and as importantly, as new staff comes into the hospital or as staff turns over within the hospital, you can always come back to this as a reference to help educate those folks on how to use the technology successfully within the practice.